we wanted to get the latest on aftermarket triggers. So we headed out to Arizona, where John Veer from Go. Timony Triggers it, showed us around his brand new plant with his good friend, Juliet. Yeah, there you go. John, this is a gorgeous place. It's so clean. Thank you. Oh, it's, uh, I see why you're so proud of it. Yeah, we put a lot of effort into creating a great place for people to work. Yeah. But let me show you some cool stuff that we have here. Okay. This machine here will take a block of aluminum like that. Okay. And in five minutes, turn it into a trigger housing. So you start with this, you end up with this. Yeah. All right. But the coolest thing about it is it does it day and night. You know, we've got tremendous demand for this product. Right. And people are just screaming at us to get more parts to them. And this allows us to get it out to them faster than any other way and we can. You told me earlier, it's not just a CNC machine. You actually have a robot here. Yeah, the robot's running right now. It loads a part, comes back, grabs another part, does it all over again, and it does it consistently. Well, and you use a machine to do the tedious work, and you save your people for doing what they do best. Exactly. People are great for using their minds. We've got tremendous brain power here, and the people here come up with ideas like this, make triggers, assemble them, test them, Split. get them out to people. Show me what else you got here. All right, let's do it. These are called wire EDM machines. They, they cut our AR triggers, our hammers, all of the tight tolerance stuff that we make out of hardened steel get cut on the wire EDM machines. Well, you've got people all over doing all kind of high tech stuff. Sure, that's the nature of this business. It's very high tech. But let me show you the heart of this place. Okay. All right, John, you said this is where the magic happens, huh? This is it. The people of this company are the magic here. What are they doing in here? Testing and assembling triggers. So each trigger gets put onto a rifle action before it leaves here. We basically torture test these to make sure that they function flawlessly when people get them. So no matter what the action is, it's been put on that action here. Exactly. And every trigger that comes out here has been hand adjusted? Ready to go? Every single trigger that we make gets That's hand amazing. adjusted. Somebody feels that trigger to make sure it feels like a Timney. All these computers you have, but you need people at the end, don't you? That's it. That's how you do it. And then, at the, of course, it's all about the feel. And we can't show that, but you've got a pretty good way of demonstrating it. I do. Let me show you how sure. it works. All right. Wow. Triggers everywhere, John. Right. I love it. It's what we do. Oh, look. Okay, you got all your actions here. You make triggers for all of these. You have a basic problem. What's that? We can show people triggers, but they can't feel the trigger. Until they feel it, they don't actually know what they're getting out of it. You know, that's true. In fact, I've got one for you to try right here. Okay. That's it's your demo setup that you do at shows. Exactly. Okay. AR-15 trigger. Ooh. Did you feel that little, you can see that creep. You can see it jumped. moving before you even pull yeah, it. Yeah, it did. Okay. Now try a Timney trigger. Timney trigger. There's no movement. It just, you know, it, it really is as simple as this. It goes off when you want it to go off. It's accuracy. It, and it's accuracy. A good trigger makes every shooter a better shooter. Fair exactly. enough? Exactly. Oh, without question. You know, and I have always said, I, once you try them, you don't want to shoot a rifle that doesn't have a good trigger after that. Nope. So, standard, custom, it simply makes your rifle better. Can't say it better, Tom.